I want to share this chart here as we get ready to look at Aquaman 2 a little bit. This is kind of insane. This is the DCEU since 2013. Uh, you can see here, um, Aquaman 2018 was their biggest hit. Like, that was bigger oh, wow. than Batman vs. Superman, Man of Steel, Wonder Woman, Justice League. So if you look up at the at the peak of the castle here, it's like, uh, this is I Aquaman. I didn't know that. And then it, the line graph begins to go in the opposite direction. Yeah, it's uh, just... Not where you want to go. A huge <laughs> fall off. Then Black Adam gave him a little bit of a bump here. Uh-huh. But then it's just been like going downhill. Uh, with and it's Blue interesting Beetle that at the bottom, Birds of Prey, Wonder Woman, Suicide Squad, those were COVID films. And now post-COVID, Shazam, Fury of the Gods, The Flash, Blue Beetle, like they're, they're as much as low or even lower than COVID movies. Yeah, because people just don't care anymore. Plus... Yeah. I think the whole James Gunn and everything they did with Henry Cavill and all that stuff, they just it, they just made a mess of things over there at the studio. So now the final movie, I guess, in this DCEU universe, the final uh. film is Aquaman 2 with, uh, yeah, shirtless Jason and yeah. Amber Heard, right? Amber Heard is in it? Yeah. She's in it. What the f even just released last week the action figures. And Amber Heard's face in the action figures looks like I'm about to make up lies about you. <laughs> <laughs> but we also have the actor strike, the writer strike, so the actors cannot promote the film. And a lot of these articles popped up basically saying Warner Brothers has given up on Aquaman 2 because uh. they haven't released a teaser trailer. There has been zero marketing other than the action figure release, which really nobody cared about. They just basically, there were tons of articles literally just like this saying, no one cares about this film. Yeah. Not even Warner Brothers. They know it's going to be a flop. They know it's just going to suck. They know like watching the, the graph that we saw, they know it's not going to do well. But on the eve mm -hmm. of all this, they decided to drop a teaser trailer sort of are you ready to watch the teaser of a teaser trailer <laughs> for go. aquaman 2 <laughs> this is what they've done all right so there's jason Momoa. <laughs> already in a, in a wet shirt let's go <laughs> And now we've got mer people. Yeah, I do have to pause it. I'm sorry, everyone. We have some mer people. Uh, I'm sure that's Manta. I, I don't know what that is. Aquaman and destroy everything he holds. Now Aquaman's in his orange and green. So that's kind of cool, right? Yeah. Classic. <laughs> classic. <laughs> classic Aquaman. And then, I thought that was Amber Heard for a moment. Then we have Aquaman riding comic book friendly seahorse. So he's in his orange and green. There's a squid. He's, it's a seahorse, man. No, there's a squid. Oh, holding a on. oh yeah. yeah. I guess that's his saddle. Squid friend. I'm just going to play the rest. They don't really show anything. Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. All right, and so. The Lost Kingdom. What is the Lost all Kingdom? They all they did was say, they put out a teaser <laughs> saying in four days, you can watch the real teaser trailer. It's the teaser of the trailer. <laughs> right. Like, because of all the bad publicity they're getting. At least they decided to release the movie because what was that superhero movie that wasn't even released? Because if you, if you commit to release a movie, then you're committing to more expenses. So your losses will be even bigger if you than, than if you just give up and don't release it. So what was that movie that they just gave up on releasing? I think it was Batgirl. They they gave up. They abandoned it. Yeah. They just said, this sucks. Let's just go. <laughs> yeah. And every YouTuber cried because we knew that we would make more money on Batgirl than the actual theat theatrics. So...